So this is the new Mazda CX-50. It is available for the North American market, primarily right now, Canada and the United States. Uh, they're looking into expanding that, but uh, recognizing the active lifestyles, uh, outdoor enthusiasts in the North American region, they're looking at uh, releasing this vehicle. And so first time in it, and I gotta tell you, it, I know this is a compact utility vehicle, CUV. When you look at it, I mean, it's, it's bigger than the CX-5. You know, a lot of people ask the questions, what's the difference between this and the CX-5? Why have it? Well, this is, uh, this is longer. So that, that kind of plays to more comfort, plays to more storage space. So you, you, know, you can load in the back and we'll show you pictures of that. This vehicle is, is it's a brand new vehicle. It's not the CX-5. This is made more towards a different market. And the reason Mazda released this vehicle was because they recognized that the CUV market is the second largest you know, market for vehicles just behind pickup trucks. And uh, with 3 million uh, CUVs being sold every year, they wanted to release something that would more cater towards those with an active lifestyle. So here we are, Mazda C CX-50, and it is, the fit and finish is nice. It's really nice. Um, it is a compact, but it doesn't look like a compact. The dimensions are bigger uh, than most of the competitors out there, maybe all the competitors. Uh, and you know, this new car spin, we don't really talk a whole lot about specs. We just tell you about how it feels, what to expect if you're looking at buying, purchasing this car or leasing the car. Um, quite frankly, I'm impressed right now. Uh, you got the 10 inch, 10.25 inch screen. You've got a, a really good setup. The, the, the feel of the steering wheel, the interior, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels really nice, uh, almost premium. And uh, we're just gonna go for a ride today. So here's my initial thoughts about this Mazda CX-50. First impression, when I got in, first thing you notice is the seats. You sit in it, um, car, you know, I'm 5'7", five, 5'8 five, on a good day. Uh, feels good, fine. Might be a little bit difficult for someone who's a little larger. Um, and I say that because I sat in it and it felt snug and I don't mean snug in a bad way snug in a good way uh, you know these are drivers cars Mazda makes cars for drivers and I've got plenty of bolster and lateral support uh, in, in the in the seat that being said I'd be interested to find out what people are saying if they're you know uh, of larger stature so that's the seats now driving impressions ah this is a fun car I mean, this is a car that, I, I don't know if it's just because it's the turbo model, but you just want to, you just want to lay into the throttle and just go and go and go. Now, obviously it's no, it's not a sports car, but it's sporty enough for this segment, especially. And I'm, I'd be thrilled to drive this around every day. My the concern would be, I'd probably uh, get a few tickets or any something to that degree, but you know, you can you can drive it around any which way you want and it's going to give you everything that you want now mazda is great at being driver centric and that's what this vehicle is all the technology from what i understand gives you a great driving experience and we're going to visit that today as we go on our drive yeah so we can we can run carplay or android auto while using the navigation from uh, from the vehicle itself. So one of the things that they did with the CX-50 that differentiates itself from the CX-5 is they've added a lot of cargo space. So this vehicle is longer than the CX-5. And as you can see in the trunk, you've got a lot more space. So you can go deep with it and stick a lot more stuff in it. Now, if you want to look at putting down the second row, 
all you have to do is press and uh, pull on these little levers here and it's like a quick release the uh, seats drop down pretty convenient and you've got all this space back here that's a lot of gear that you can store or take with you. Think about it. Your cooler, tent, chairs, you know, your bags. I mean, you could throw a lot in here. And that's what differentiates this vehicle from the CX-5. It's, it's more outdoors uh, oriented. You're going to get a lot more out of it. Yeah. I think my smile says it all, doesn't it? Just, you know, Mazda, they just designed and built a, a driver's vehicle here and so here the cues that they took the the research that was done to develop this car they looked into rally racing you know, drop it into normal mode looked at rally racing and then took all the all I'm sure all the telemetry and, and different things to build this vehicle so you're looking at a car that can do everything you want on the road but then also it has some off-road capability and we're going to do that today. With a little bit of towing and a little bit of off-road and we're going to see uh, what the Mazda engineers have put into this vehicle in terms of vehicle control. So we'll talk a little bit about that. But man, we landed a gorgeous day in Central Coast, California. Wow. So for someone who doesn't tow normally, this is not a regular thing. Towing can be intimidating, but I feel with the GVC in this and the way the vehicle is set up, I, I feel confident driving this and towing a trailer behind me one-handed. Uh, this is really nice. And something I think that's far less intimidating than it needs to be. Okay, I've dropped this in to normal mode, out of towing mode. And there is a difference. You can tell. The trailer is... You can feel the movement, the side-to-side -side movement that it's doing. Uh, the yaw. And then... I'm just braking slightly. And it's not so uh, pronounced, but you can tell that there's a difference and you definitely want to drop it into tow mode uh, if you want something that's ease of use in terms of towing something. For the towing on the turbo model, there's 3,500 pounds. And I believe on the non-turbo version, it's significantly less, which I understand. You know, you've got a lot of weight that you're, you're pulling. This car is very capable. I mean, hitting the brakes, you just have to be mindful of the additional weight that you have behind you. So we're going off-roading today in the Mazda CX-50. And we've seen and tested the on-road capability. Now we're gonna see what it can do off-road. Now, clearly we're not gonna be doing bouldering or anything like that. But, I mean, for, for what this is, you get a lot of capability, so I've been told. So we're gonna, we're gonna go through it, have a little fun. I've dropped it in into off-road mode, and it's pretty simple. There isn't a thousand buttons. You know, uh, there's, you know I don't have to do all this stuff. There is uh, some technology built into this vehicle that would take the place of having a full differential, a locking differential, uh, where basically if you get wheels off the ground, they will, or they lose traction, they will actually apply the brakes uh, diagonally. So you can imagine if you're a serious off-roader, you know exactly what that means. And so there you go. So we're just gonna have a little fun today. Take it off-road, nothing hard, nothing heavy. Um, but uh, yeah, just enough to, you know, get you there, you know, and then get off road. So let's go have some fun. Feels like you got, it feels like you've got enough articulation. Obviously we're not doing anything major, but enough articulation and enough uh, uh, movement in 
the suspension enough movement in the suspension that uh, yeah I mean I'm, I don't feel like I hit a bump stop at all on anything so far so well done Mazda well done we are going to go uphill and give this a test so you're looking at uh, clearance right so we're looking at a approach departure angles as well as uh, maybe at the top break break over I don't think it's gonna be that bad with the break over but this should be interesting so let's go have some fun easy peasy lemon squeezy okay we just completed that uphill maneuver and with the off-road mode pretty easy uh, the torque is transferring from wheel to wheel and it, once the system realizes that you've got a wheel that's not getting torque that's not that has broken traction it will apply the torque to the other wheel now we're gonna go downhill and as you can see uh, I can't see uh, the ground from where I'm at and so I'm going to press the camera button and then on the display, I, I'm able to see where I'm going. Ready? I have no idea where I'm going right now with this camera. Wow. 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 <laughs> No way, you have got to be kidding. This is like a freaking roller coaster. You, have, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Get out of here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So if you, if you go faster than 10 miles an hour, it gets off the camera view, but oh yeah, that was, that made, a harrowing uh, little maneuver there seem uh, totally doable. Wow. Okay, final thoughts on the new Mazda CX-50 that, is, again, is only available for North America, at least for the time being. I have had a fabulous day in this vehicle. Um, we go back to our hotel. I'm going to have some great conversations with some people about about the vehicle but I'll just say this it's sporty it will get you where you want to go on the road on highway whatever you want to call it um, in quick order it's fun and the, the throttle response is great for for being an SUV and the handling dynamics are great in this vehicle now does it have a few things that could be improved? Probably. Uh, I think maybe the seats might be an issue. Uh, for me, not an issue, but I think it could be. Um, but really, other than that, I mean, gosh, dude, this car can can take you wherever you want to go. Then you can go off-roading. Um, and it's very capable, and it's confidence-inspiring. So... Uh, I would definitely recommend this vehicle to anyone who's looking at something in this segment. And, uh, man, I just had a lot of fun, and we're going to go now to the beach. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Take care of each other. See ya.